Hi guys, you're watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. In today's video, I'm going to show you my epic battle with the Worker of Secrets at 5 to 1 ratio. And I'm doing this fight to once again get qualified for the Worker of Secrets Club. Unfortunately, the last time my attack charge gem went over the rules. So the rules have then been changed and now you can qualify with a 5 to 1. So this is actually a harder fight than my last one. And it's against a 15,000 worker who's actually 15,150. And that means that I can have 3,030 points in my stats. And you'll see my equipment here. I use the Infinity Swords, dual weapons, the Neb Shield, the frosted helm and uh, for my armor the ronin plate and I had two hex gems which is the maximum you can have which on perfect parry stun and titan break 2 and a magic ring and I'll show you my I'm showing you there through them quickly and then I'll show you that I have no potions and also my stat points and my skills because you can't have ultimate magic and you'll see there I have no ultimate magic and I've reallocated my stats so that my points are one fifth of his level and there they are they total 3030 because 50 health points makes one stat point so the total of that figure is 3030 and that's one fifth of the workers level and here I'm showing I have no potions because no potions are allowed in the 5 to 1 qualifying fight and it's called Garlith 5 to 1 and because my worker is over 15,000 that will mean that I should get the honourable achievement I am divinity as well as qualify for the club so I haven't had it confirmed yet, so I, I've got my fingers crossed and I hope you have for me too, that this time it works. And as I say, it's a harder fight this time and I have less attack and you'll see that I used the same method as last time. I wrapped bonus combos where I could. And also, I had the worker with all three weapons this time. Last time he glitched and had heavy in the first and last scene. But this time I had him as a light and in the last scene. Oh, I had him as light, sorry, in the first and last scene. But this time I have him with heavy in the first scene and then jewel and then light like he's supposed to be. So the hardest part of this section I find is that backwards kick and that did get me a few times I must say but also this fight didn't take me as anywhere near as long as the other one so I must have practiced enough with the other fights that this one I did pretty quickly well not quickly but it didn't take me days anyway it just took me a few hours so yeah I was fighting him for a few hours at 5 to 1 and yeah the kick got me a few times and um, also in the last scene with his light uh, he'd get me a few times but overall it didn't take that long compared to last time and here I am already got into the second stage uh, the perfect parry stun helps if you get the perfect parries of course and I had the bonus combo memorized well enough that I knew how many I could get in each attack break and according to how many exclamation marks he, he produced and I managed to dodge that downwards cross by keeping an eye on his foot and I used the snowman helmet because I hoped that it would put him off his is hit at me <laughs> and I thought it might make him laugh and throw him off his strike so I think that worked because I got it done pretty soon and pretty quickly and here he is doing another downwards cross as part of his step back 
and that one was always crackable, but it did have a, another downwards cross before it, so I did get quite a few in this second scene. And then on to the last scene, and uh, it, that's, that tapping scene must be conscious of not fast forwarding too quickly so that you over go into the tapping scene, so I didn't do that, but I just thought I'd give that as a piece of advice, I've done that in the past. And yeah, dodging is good to do a lot of dodging in this last scene because of those hidden shield bashes. So you want to make sure that he is actually hitting with his sword before you try and parry. Because a lot of times it looks like he's going to parry, but in fact it's a shield bash. And this is actually the longest part of the fight in the last scene with his light weapon, sword and shield. And so you need to get familiar with this section and his moves. Otherwise, uh, you won't get through it, even if you can defeat him with his other weapons. So I saved my super magic. Um, I was keeping them for the second scene earlier on in case he did two downwards crosses and in the end with this one I saved it to the end and supered him at the end and I had two God King 360 step backs that he just did there and I decided to uh, crack them rather than super them and yeah it was good to wrap the bonus combos that definitely helps and again these infinity swords has a, the same direction at the beginning as at the end in the bonus combo so that takes off one hit you can do five directions and then the next four you don't have to do the first move of the second round of bonus combo moves so that takes off one hit and that plus the titan break two meant I could wrap bonus combos every time he had a three exclamation mark or a four exclamation mark break. And here he's doing another step back, a pretty hard one. But I got through them all and that was no trouble. I didn't have trouble with the step backs this time. And mainly it was the kick in the first scene that kept getting me, that backwards kick. <laughs> It does look like the other two moves. I've pointed that out in my video of his moves and step backs that he starts three moves in the same way with the crouch in the first scene. So you have to be extra quick to identify which move is coming. And that backwards kick did get me quite a few times. But that was all behind me. And I mainly wrapped the bonus combos, I got them all. There was a couple I missed and one at the end I missed, but then I'd got him right down so I thought oh, I'll super him and finish it. Because I felt I'd been with him long enough. And uh, I, I like to use the snowman helmet. <laughs> it didn't have any stat points in it, so that was a good plus why I used it, apart from um, doing it a bit differently this time to my last fight and uh, having a bit of humour in it. It made it feel a bit lighter the fight too, it was good fun. And so I nearly got him to the end and I was able to get an ultra combo after the bonus combo every time he did two exclamation marks because it gave me two extra hits at the end of the bonus combo so I could do an extra hit and then one in the opposite direction and then that would give me an ultra combo so that was handy because that's three times your attack so it's good to work out how many you can get and if you do get your last hit blocked like I did there it's a really good idea to dodge the next hit because you can get hit if you get blocked if, on, the next, on the first hit after you've been blocked. So rather than trying to parry it, you're better to try and dodge it. And so here's the end and I supered him at the end and that was it. The Deadly Snowman wins. 
and that's the worker down at five to one. So it was a pretty epic battle and I'm glad once again it's over and hopefully I won't have to do that one again but you never know so <laughs> we'll see what um, the club says that's the work of secrets club at the epic games forum and now I decided to show all my stats and equipment again after the fight and so I've speeded up the ending and then back after all the credits and the tutorial and the animation the whole lot wasn't going to play that in real time because it takes about eight minutes so i didn't think you'd want to watch that for eight minutes so when that's finished it's back to my character and i show it again after the fight in real time and you'll see my equipment there again and my gems and uh, my skill points and and my no potions and the stats so i wanted to show it after the fight as well just to make sure i was being extra cautious this time so yes there's my skills with no ultra magic and my stats that equal 3030 stat points which is one fifth exactly of his level that was 15,150 so hopefully that will be it and there's no potions either so hopefully that's the end and I may have got into the club so we'll see I'm not going to be too confident yet until I hear from them but I've definitely done the fight of five to one so unless you're not allowed to have a carrot I don't know <laughs> We'll see what happens anyway. So thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And also check out my pages on Facebook and Twitter and my website, tamilchannel.com. Thanks. See you next time.